It's important that we reference back to what our mindset might be around how we design and create attack strategies. This all relates back to the principles of play. So if we go back to our source, so where we get positioned from, which is the line out, once that ball's passed, I'd like every single player who's involved in that line out as a forward to work around the corner. We're taking the primer activity of the offload now, we're putting it into a game. But obviously if he's not getting any communication off ball, then the decision's probably made for him that there isn't an offload that's about to happen and my focus might be to carry and, and go forward and, and fight on ground or whatever I need to do to recycle for my team. What was the key takeaways? Yeah. Ears, eyes and hands, fantastic. And I saw some really good demonstration of that and I saw a little bit of progression happening from some of you from that game to this game. So well done boys, okay? Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, strike's called, cool. good, well done. Get the edge. Well done boys, well done. That's a really good option. It's always good when you're, when you're creating fun activities that you involve the players. Coaching's a real challenge and the more fun you can make it, not just for the players but yourself, I think the more longevity and enjoyment you'll get out of it as well. So good luck and all the best with your seasons ahead.